want to show you the latest live look at numbers from perhaps <coughs> the biggest race that we are talking about tonight in the Low Country. The latest numbers show Mayor John Tecklenburg did not get more than 50% of the vote, so that means a runoff with City Councilman Mike Seekings. Thank you for staying with News 2. It is election night 2019, and News 2 is your local election headquarters. And we are starting with our big story on the Charleston mayoral race. We do have crews live at both watch parties for the race. News 2's Deanne Roberts is live, where the incumbent mayor, John Tecklenburg, just finished speaking. We will get to Deanne in just a moment, but first, News 2's Sophia Arizosa is live with challenger Mike Seekings. Sophia, certainly a very raucous, excited crowd tonight to know that at least there will be a runoff for the city councilman. Carolyn and Brendan, a big night for mayoral candidate Mike Seekings. He joins me now. Mr. Seekings, how are you feeling? I feel good. Energized and humbled. Been a really big day, and this campaign has been about getting to this point tonight so we can go talk about the issues in Charleston with the mayor one on one. So excited. And we are going to hear from voters in just two weeks. What's on your agenda for the next two weeks? Our agenda for the next two weeks is to talk about what's going to happen in Charleston going forward, to talk about what happened today, which is more than half of the voters in Charleston that came out to the polls said we want to go in a new direction, and we're going to take them in that direction and show them what it's all about. And any message for the voters who came out today and who you hope to come out next two well, weeks? Well, first off, to everyone who came out, thank you. Thank you for being part of this. Make sure you come out in two weeks. Bring a friend with you. And for the next two weeks, listen to what's going on. Listen to what's going on in your city. Listen to what the issues are. And I think you'll see that we offer a direction of leadership going forward, which for the last four years, just look around, we're really lacking in some of the things that people have been talking about and reason people came out and voted today in the polls. Wonderful, Mr. Seeking. Thank you so much. A big night for the city of Charleston. We are expecting to see that runoff race in just two weeks. That's November 19th. For now, we'll send it back to you. Reporting in West Ashley, Sophia Zoza, count on two. All right, Sophia with uh, Mr. Seeking. Seeking's in a runoff with Mayor of Charleston, John Tettenberg. Uh, that will be in two weeks, as she said. That's right, and of course, we just heard from the mayor just a short time ago, he finished speaking. News 2's Dan Roberts had an opportunity to be at that campaign headquarters, the frothy beard West Ashley. Uh, Dan, the mayor still sounded very confident and optimistic in addressing his supporters tonight. Carolyn, Mayor John Tecklenburg definitely sounding confident and continuing this regardless of there being a runoff in two weeks on November 19th. Mayor Tecklenburg has basically just surrounded by his supporters. He's been very just confident in what's been going on. I am going to be joined by Mayor Tecklenburg right about now. Um, we are going to speak to him live right now. Mayor Tecklenburg, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good the, to see you. Again. Good to see you as well. The moment you learned that there was a runoff against Councilman Seekings, what was going through your mind? Well, the voters really, uh, I'm thankful to them for giving me a first place victory and, and affirming that they are positive like me and want to see a better future for our city as opposed to all the negativity that we've been seeing from the dirty money, secret money that's been going into the Seekings campaign and spreading lies and, and not getting the facts right. For example, we've been working on so many things about flooding and drainage in our city, working with the Dutch and the Corps of Engineers, $100 million worth of projects. Uh, Seekings has been on council for 10 years. He's never proposed an ordinance to fix flooding. On 10 years that he's been on council, I helped support keeping 526 extension alive. When we had a resolution to support that two years ago, Seekings voted against it. So once we really get the facts out, people will clean, see the clear distinction between addressing issues from positive and our future to negative. Clearly tonight you had a lot of support here at the Frothy Beer, but not a lot of support from Charleston City Councilman. How does that make you feel? Well, I feel good. We've got some new faces coming to council. Uh, Ross uh, Appel got elected uh, today. Uh, my friend Peter Shade will be back. Uh, we've got some new faces. We, we're going to have an exciting new council to work with. I'm looking forward to it. Mayor, we have two weeks. Anything you're doing differently with your campaign? For the next two weeks? Oh, did you see this charged up crowd here? we got great volunteers. We're going to be out there again in two weeks, and we're going to wrap this thing up. I'm very positive about our future. Thank you so much, Mayor. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Once again, we have a runoff on our hands that will take place in two weeks on November 19th. We'll continue bringing you coverage on that right here on News 2. I'm live in West Ashley tonight. Deanne Roberts, count on two.
very passionate uh, Mayor Tecklenburg right there. Here's another look at the results of a very close mayoral race in Charleston. You have Mr. Tecklenburg, Mike Seekings, Maurice Washington, Gary White, Renee Orth, and Sherry Irwin, as well as uh, others there in the race. We'll keep you updated for the next two weeks.